In this tip of the day, let's take a look at one CNC cam for three axis milling. Now, what I'd like to do is focus on the Z level finish command. Z level finish is a machining operation that applies three axis finish toolpath to solids and surfaces. In this example, you can see we're applying toolpath to the outside of the part. What I'd like to do is demonstrate how we can make the toolpath even more efficient. To begin with, let's take a look at what the toolpath is doing right now. So let's head over to the NC Manager. I'm going to right hand mouse click. And let's go with Preview Toolpath. Now what you're seeing here is that after each depth of cut, the tool is wrapping to the clearance plane and then repositioning itself back to a start location. Now that's great, but I want to show you how you can get rid of that rapid move. So let's exit out of Preview Toolpath and go back into the NC Manager. We're going to right hand mouse click and we're going to quickly edit our machining operation. This looks good, so let's click Next, Next, and here we're going to change our approach style from vertical approach to vertical zigzag sides. Let's click that. We'll click Next, 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 and Finish. We don't need to repick our machining boundary, so I'll just click No on here and let 1CNC generate the toolpath. Now when we head back into Preview, you're going to see that the toolpath is now zigzagging back and forth across the surfaces. So let's right hand mouse click, back into Preview Toolpath. And here you go. You can see the toolpath now is zigzagging back and forth across all the surfaces and eliminating that extra rapid move between each depth of cut. Very, very efficient. Now let me demonstrate how we can make the toolpath even more efficient. In this example, I'm going to talk about how we can reduce the size of the CNC code. Let's quickly head up here to the toolpath group, right hand mouse click, and we're going to select post group. We're going to create a CNC program for this. I'm just going to use the default post processor. We'll click post, and here we go. Now, using a tolerance of two tenths, you can see the length of the CNC program is over 16,000 lines of code. Let me demonstrate now how we can reduce this. Let's head back over here back into the NC Manager. Again, let's quickly edit our machining operation. And what we're going to do is we're going to activate Arc Optimization right here. So we're going to activate Arc Optimization. Now, what Arc Optimization does is it's going to take the toolpath and it's going to optimize it to use arcs instead of small linear moves whenever possible. This is still going to maintain the highest in surface finish while reducing the size of the CNC program. So let's click Next, 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 and Finish. Again, we don't need to repick the boundary, so let's let 1CNC generate the toolpath. And then we'll go directly back into generating a CNC program. Back into the NC Manager, we're going to right hand mouse click. We're going to select Post Group. Again, we're going to use the default post processor. We're going to click Post. I'll just overwrite the program that we already have. And now if I scroll down to the very bottom of the CNC program, you can see the program is right at 870 lines of code. Very, very efficient. Thank you so much for watching this tip of the day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.